Hello and welcome back to another HP Gaming Game Link video. Today, myself, my junior gamer, and my junior junior gamer are going to be stepping back in time to explore a game that was 65 million years in the making. And no, I'm not talking about tiny epic dinosaurs. I'm talking about getting down and dirty. What are we going to be digging up? We're going to be digging up Fossils. dinosaurs. We're going to be looking at fossilus. Welcome back to another HP Gaming video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Matt and this is my junior gamer. Charlotte and this is our junior junior gamer, Blair. Blair, say hi. Hi. That's it. Blair's now helping us out with all of our unboxings yeah. and things as well. Very excited yeah. for this one. Um, you will also have noticed, ladies and gentlemen, we have gone, we have gone back in time. Um, the, box, <laughs> the box is still sealed. Uh, you would have already received, uh, seen the video, but uh, Charlotte hasn't seen what's in the box. We've gone back yeah. in time with our special but device. Already I've already told you what it is. We've been Hello. pretty excited for this one. Hello. Uh, pretty excited for this one. This is um, uh, a game that uh, we backed on Kickstarter. I did it primarily because we all love dinosaurs in this house. And this is one that I'm really excited about because it's designed for junior gamers. Like me and Blair. Like you and Blair. Uh, so okay, that's Alex. very, very cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a big box for what I thought it was. I didn't think it was going to be this big. We've got bubble wrap and a few other bits and pieces as well. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. We're just we're chucking on the out. floor. No, we're not just chucking on the floor. We're going to take this one out. Oh, it's heavy. We're going to move this one out of the way. Really okay, heavy. girls, don't lean on the table. Blair, sit down on your bottom. So, we are going to... Oh, wow. That's cool. What? We'll get a close-up of that. There's bubbles on it. There's bubbles. So, let's take this out of here. We'll get rid of the bubble wrap. Charlotte, what happens to the plastic? On the floor. On the floor. <laughs> And there it is. Look at that. Can that is the box for Whoa. Fossilus, uh, which is all about dinosaurs. Wow. I know. So this is a game about. I know. There's pterodactyls and all sorts of stuff here. It's very exciting. Uh, this is a game about searching for deep sites uh, and all that sort of stuff. As well. Eight plus. Oh my goodness. What are we going to do? I know. We're going to get this down, get a bit of a top-down view so you can see what's going Look, on. First door. impressions of the box, though, that folks. Look, Holly. Blair's really excited. Dinosaurs galore. That door. Look. You may not be able to that see door. it until we get in nice and close, but that the door. foil overprinting on this box is amazing. The artwork is exceptional. Um, Blair's very taken by it. What do you think, Blair, about dinosaur? What do you what reckon? Do you think? Wow, it pretty much sums it up. It's pretty yeah, spectacular. Yeah, it's, and, it's, and it's shiny. It's shiny. Nice and shiny. Uh, two to five players, eight plus, about 45 minutes. Uh, we've talked a lot about this one on our series, Got Your Backer. So if you haven't seen those, check it out. Uh, although you may not want to bother because we're going to unbox it for you right now anyway. Without further ado, because someone's getting pretty excited, we're going to get this down to the table and we'll have a look at what's in the box. All right, let's have a look what is in the box. Now, the, I think Blair says it pretty much on the knocker. What's it? The foil on this is just, it's absolutely quite spectacular. Now, if I tip sideways, you can what see the full box out there. Dinosaur. Dinosaurs galore. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I know it's a dinosaur head. I know. It's a fossil buried in soil. Now, I apologize wow. for the camera we shape. That uh, that we don't usually side. do videos with our junior junior gamer, but she okay, is adamant she wants to be involved side. and she gets pretty excited. First things first, we are going to tip this over here. We're going to get our trusty knife out and we're just going to open up this open. one up here. Cut it open. We always do that. Well, you need to, otherwise you can't get in. Now, I just want to say, Kids Table Board Games have done such an amazing job on this production. I haven't even had a look inside the box yet, but I know it's going to be great. I can tell you right now, plastic goes on the floor, that while we have been... Miniatures. Waiting for this one. They've just launched a new one called Creature Comforts. What? And we've backed that already without even seeing too much more of a fuss, uh, just because we know it's going to be quality. <gasps> so for those of you who don't know, <laughs> I know there's dinosaurs on the outside. Rah, 
scary dinosaurs. <laughs> and there's a pterodactyl on this side and of the box. And there's a pterodactyl. I know. Should we open it up and see what's inside? Yeah. Okay, now this is going to be a nice big opening. For those of you who don't know, Fossilus is basically about uh, digging in the dirt, trying to complete um, dinosaurs and things. So we're just going to put the box to one side. I didn't know it's all about digging because there's um, Let's settle pressure. down because we don't, want to shake, we don't want to shake the camera too much. Okay, so let's see what we've got. We've got a rule book, uh, which is nice and full colour here. Wow, more colours. Stegosaurus there, playing with young kids. And now this is awesome. It's got... <laughs> uh, I hope the camera's not shaking too much. I'm going to run a stabiliser through it, obviously, but hopefully it's not too bad. Okay. So this has a bit of a playing with young kids, how it all sort of works, how you can adjust the difficulty of the game to suit younger gamers, which is awesome. I apologise as well if it looks like there's an earthquake happening. This camera shake is really going crazy. Um, so uh, we've got all the different components there, breakdowns of how it all sort of works, different player elements as well. So basically, yeah, a simple rule set uh, talks about how it works, how things move, because you've got different action points that you can spend. Nice full colour, uh, talks about final scoring as well. Uh, yeah, very Look. lovely, high quality. And there's a giant brontosaurus on the back. Well, Hamid, look, it's a giant Rolex. And there's a quick reference thing on the back here too. It's very cool. Brontosaurus is awesome and credits for the game as well. Let's have a look and see what's in the box. What have we got? Let's move this to the side. We have got... Oh, that's right. We've got the expansions. Oh, <laughs> Yes, Blair. So the expansions come in. This is what I'll tell you what. We'll leave those to oh, the end. Uh, that's an expansion as well. Uh, solo mode. There's a solo oh, mode variant in this as well. So you can play it on your own, which I think is very cool. Uh, and then you've got, I think this is the Ice Age expansion as well, because this is a Kickstarter exclusive. Oh, and you've got another expansion oh, as well. So we've got one, two... Four, uh, three, four expansions and a standalone as well. And then we've also got here a Scorpion mini expansion too. So there's Scorpion tokens as well. So there is one, two, three, four, five extra components in this uh, box that aren't in the retail edition. But that's okay uh, because there's also uh, baggies, obviously, for all the bits and pieces as well, which we love. And what's this? What's this? Kickstarter edition of Fossilus. Rulebook shows the retail version of the components, but these are all the upgraded ones that we get. So instead of little uh, start player amber markers, we get a punch board. Uh, our custom amber marker replaces the punch board skull. Plaster actually looks like plaster rather than the standard cubes. All the upgraded components, which is awesome. Uh, also includes components for Ice Age, Scorpion, Bone Wars, uh, Undiscovered Species, and the Caution Tape Expansion. Let's get into it. So this is the um, board. Uh, board and punch outs. So the board here actually is used to slide into the tray so that you can load the field uh, when you are um, uh, scoring and things as well. Or is that the scoreboard for different components? Yes, it is. So this is a score track uh, clay markers. I think that's double sided depending on the number of players. Let's open it up and have a look. Minis. Yeah, there's minis. Minis, yeah. So we'll put that over there. So the board here, I think, yeah, double-sided depending on different dig sites and things in different modes you've got. And then we've got little punch-outs. Look, there you go. So the punch-outs here, these all have different um, elements and, and abilities on the tiles, uh, game end. So you use these on the board in this area here, and you can claim those throughout the course of the game as well. Let's punch that out. Nice thick punch board. Look at that. Here, Blair, you can have a look at that one. You can have a look at this. Now, this is a score track uh, for dinosaurs. That's right. I think that's a score track just to remind you of different actions you can take as well, which is awesome. We'll come back to this. So, this is the player board. Oh, no, sorry. This is the tray, the, the setting, setting up tray. So this is a way to store all the bits and pieces, all the different tiles that actually make up the clay um, or the rock and stone elements. Go in here. Storage bags, which we love. We've got some Ice Age gems, looks like, for one of the expansion components. We've got little meeples, which we're going to open up. Now we'll get to the dinosaurs. 
Meeples in different colours for up to five players. Purple, yellow. Purple, yellow, purple, grey, green, blue, and green. Black. Yep, that's it. Good okay, job. So we'll put them back this. in there. <laughs> Someone's really excited by the dinosaur. And fair enough, we've had this one arrive uh, a little over a week ago and we've been itching to do an unboxing for it. Just haven't found the right time. The cards we'll come back to. Now, these are the plaster upgraded plaster components. And wow. you use plaster to take casts of bones for your museum exhibits. And they're quite nice yeah. um, tokens there, which is awesome. We'll put yeah. those back they're in They're nice there. and smooth. They are nice and smooth. We've got the amber first player marker. Now, oh, that's awesome. Is it made of gold? Oh, it's not made of gold. It's made of resin. It's amber. And if you find mosquitoes oh, in there, you can find it. DNA of ancient can dinosaurs, just like in oh, Jurassic Park. Can you go, can Shark, you can hold it. it. That's quite weighty. It's like a paperweight. Plastic on the floor. It, this it little, looks like uh, a dinosaur tooth. Silica gel thing that can go on the Dinosaur floor. Dinosaur tooth. Wow, look. I've got extra it's containers, extra tooth steps tooth. and things. Little scoring oh, markers for the shells and the fossils, oh, which are quite cool. No, do. And then we've got do. Do. dinosaur cards. <laughs> what these? And then these are your player boards. So you use these for scoring different things, scoring your dinosaurs, uh, using up abilities. So as you collect things, you can collect them, but you actually cover up victory points on the track. So you want to make sure that you um, don't cover up your victory points and score and, and remove your scoring opportunities if you can avoid it. And then we've got a bag of bones. Bones, excavation hammers, other bones. Let's have a look. <laughs> all right, let's have a look and see what we've got in the bones here. Now, the one thing I like about this, these are all individually bagged, which is awesome. So you've got individual rib bones there, which are very cool. Oh, it looks like hip bones and things you can collect. Normal, normal femur bones. Now these get embedded in the game tray and you have to actually excavate for them. Dino teeth, look at those. Dinosaur teeth. And then you've got some hammers for digging. Hammers for digging and things like that, and then you've also got the skulls. These are worth the most points. Try and collect those as um, best look, you can. Another wrapper. You know, to keep those, we'll keep that for that one there. Now these are game tiles like rock and stone that you use to move around the board, and as you collect the tiles, they give you uh, extra wow. abilities and components. Uh, and then we've got the actual big game board itself. Now this is the set of tiles here. These are worth one action point, two action points. The grey ones cost you three. Um, there's a board to mount them on and then in the base of the box we have this gorgeous little tray this is where all the tiles go the bones get scorpion. shook into here scorpion. yeah we'll get a scorpion put them in here so this is a scorpion from the mini expansion as well which actually looks very very cool i know it's a scorpion not a crab and then you've got some handy little tweezers that you I can use to dig in to try and grab out the bones, bones and things as well when you dig up bones. all the different bits and pieces. I like tweezers. Well, let's have a look at some cards. Yay, cards. I love cards. And I do like the idea that when you um, see the board, you actually tip it up so you don't actually see what's going on in there. Hang on, let's go through the cards first. Tell you what, let's clear this out of the way and we'll get the cards out. Tweezers. And we'll go through the cards in there. Hang on, hang on. Nice, even storage solution from Game Trays there as well, which is fantastic. They've done a great job there. All right, there we go. We've got in there. Let's get rid of the plastic. Now, these different dinosaur cards are the ones you actually use. So you need four teeth, seven hips, uh, seven or each, sorry, one of each. Each individual one is worth this. This is worth four points on its own. This is worth seven. This is worth seven. If you get the full set, you score 24 points. And these symbols, if you get a certain number of those, you get different points awarded at the end of the game as well. Ankylosaurus, Apatosaurus, we have to learn all the names. Uh, Arizonasaurus, oh, it's a, like a Loch Ness Monster one. Brachiosaur, Dacosaur. Look at them, they're all so cool. The Dracosaur is like a water and dinosaur. Yeah, all sorts of crazy dinosaurs. So there's, these get shuffled up and dealt out, so you reveal three or so, or uh, I think, as in, oh, there he is, Tyrannosaurus Rex. And you reveal as many as you have uh, players plus one, I believe. And then we've got, let's have a look and see what we've got here. These ones look like they're the tools and other player cards as well. 
And uh, it's important to note that doing this with two children was not a good idea at first. What? Um, anyway, so these make up the tool cards. I'll just show you the backs of these for the dinosaur cards. And then you've got tools and then you've got your supplies. So you can use actions to pull up some of these as well. And events go on the board uh, near the clay. And once all the clay's been removed, the events activate. So the events are things like earthquake, uh, junk sales. So you can buy stuff off men to visit mudslides any patronage to give you extra money, reclassifications of dinosaurs, and then you get your supplies. So you can get three clay, you get an ember, or amber I should say, and then you've got victory points on there as well. The tools, if you go through to the tools, will give you dig site maps. Move to any unoccupied dig site on the uh, tile. Uh, then you can fall off, if you fall off the dig site, you can get back on, spend two extra energy this hot turn. Coffee, hot coffee. Uh, remove any two sand from the board. Those are those uh, tan ones that we saw earlier. The hot coffee is definitely going in my pile. Mm. And you can slide things around on that grid that we saw earlier to the point where you can actually push people off of the board, uh, which means it takes an action away from them during the course of the game. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. We are going to uh, come back out and we'll give you some final thoughts amidst all this chaos. So there you have it. That's the unboxing of Fossilus by okay. Kids Table Board Games. Uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've been raving on about it for quite some time. Are we all looking forward to getting into dinosaurs? Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. Blair? Blair, are you looking forward, You're looking to, forward getting to getting the into the dinosaurs and finding all okay. the bones? Yeah, sounds good to me. And it's going to be fun exploring those expansions as well. Oh my goodness, um, they're not going to. Yeah, we're going to get them. It's not going to be I necessarily. Like them. I know you like them. It's fantastic. Yeah. Blair's really excited. Um, Me too. It's going to be, obviously a lot of those expansions aren't included in the retail edition. Having said that, there's enough going to be in the core box to keep you coming back to this one for quite a while. Uh, as always, we're going to try and get playthroughs and things done for you. Um, hopefully without all the chaos that you've just witnessed. I'm sorry about that. It's just what happens when you've got limited time and resources. And really little ones. Um, as always, folks, thank you very much for our Patreons who watch and support us every way people can. If you want to join up and support the show, you can jump on the link on screen because you probably can't even hear me. If you have any questions, you can hit us up at orders at hbgaming.com.au. And uh, someone's been very, very naughty and Santa is watching. So we're going to have to see how that goes Christmas. down. It is nearly Christmas. We've got some Christmas content coming your way, as well as a bit of coverage on our Catan Blitz event on the 27th to 29th of November this year. Thank you very much. If you got this far, really appreciate it. Um, if What do you think of Fossil is? Uh, do you want us to see us do a playthrough? Do you want to see us take it through a solo and see how that goes as well? Any of the expansions you're interested in? To, like, well, we'll see. That's fine. Look, okay. until then, folks, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you back at the table very, very soon for more fun. Until then, bye. bye. Bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>